Hi everybody, just some really quick projects to share with you. Uh, some swaps that I was involved in on um, Crafting Passions. First one was a Mortal Love 4x4 mini page swap. Um, so you just had to depict uh, a Mortal Love. So my front page, I used a piece of cardstock, ran that through um, with an embossing folder, used the colourful life mat stack for the photo mats from DCWV, and just stamped it at the back for some journaling. Uh, the flower I made, just added some bling in the middle and I backed it on and I am Rose's flower which I glimmer misted um, and just modge podge some hessian wings that I used from a Sizzix die um, and I br brought around a piece of uh, chill and tied it up there on the back of that page I used uh, one of the Tim Holtz dies on the edge dies um, and used it as a pocket. Um, that piece of chill that came round the back I um, stuck this trim, this flower trim on top of that uh, which I got on a rack and I just added some bling for the centres. I left the two outers without blings. I, th I don't know, I just thought it gave it more interest. Um, and added some photo mats from the same DCWV stack. One of them I stamped, the other one I just left blank and I went around the edges with um, some distress inks. I think it was vintage photo. Um, cut out a file folder and stamped it with love. Um, so that's the first page. Uh, the second page I used another on the edge die with a piece of lace and I topped that with uh, some little iron roses flowers that I painted and I just added in a couple of tags that I used some of the colour life, colourful lights mat stack on and I stamped one of them, distressed them both up um, and stamped one of, the, one of them with a My Road uh, calendar stamp and added some some of this uh, string and then my final page I ran the cardstock through the cuddle bug uh, through the embossing folder again and I edged, uh, I, yeah, I used a Martha Stewart punch to punch out the edges and I made this little butterfly that I alcohol inked and I used some wire to make its antlers and stuck some beads on there for its body. So yeah, I think she wanted us to use these um, Tim Holtz memo pin type thingies for the binding so yeah so that's my two pages I've got those already uh, the other project was uh, to make three flowers one a paper flower the other a, a fabric flower and another of your choice so I did my paper flower, Donna Salazar a technique, I added some uh, some chill, some feathers and a stick pin, very simple stick pin. Um, I made my uh, fabric flower out of sheer material and I thought that turned out really nice and just, yeah, bead, a beaded flower. So that's that one, and my final one um, was an ATC swap, and 
what did I do to this? I embossed. I've, I embossed the um, a piece of Manila folder that I backed on to some black cardstock. I think it was a Tim Holtz embossing folder I used. Um, I punched out a circle with one of my Sizzix dies um, that I covered with foil and then I painted with some Lumia paints um, and I liked the textured surface. I used, um, I cut, fussy cutted some some of the um, clock faces from the proper gentleman paper graphic 45. Um, I then cut out some wings which I modge podge to stiffen up the material and I added some some um, fibres. I also, um, don't know if you can see it, but I um, glossy crackle accented the top of the clock face so yeah there's, it's a nice really nice textured um, surface and it was tattered time so yeah so that completes um, my swaps and I've got some other projects to share with you so many albums and that but uploading them to YouTube has been like a a real bugger so um, if I can do that if I can upload that that'd be cool and I've got my circle journal that I swap with the girls as well um, that's on its way home so I'll share that when I get that as well. Okay cool, thanks for watching, bye.